Alright everyone, in this video we'll be doing an application review of a torrent client called Qubit Torrent. Now Qubit Torrent is cross-platform, available for Linux, Mac and Windows. I'm using it here in Ubuntu 11.10. I'm just showing you how quick it is to open and how quick it starts downloading the torrents. Well, it starts uploading quicker than it does downloading, but hey, it's pretty good on the speed. So I don't want to dwell too much on the legality of torrents. Torrenting itself is legal, it's what you're downloading that may or may not be legal. These two torrents I'm downloading here, Ren and Stimpy, well they are illegal, I shouldn't be doing that. However, in my defence, Ren and Stimpy is pretty old now and there is no DVD shops in town where I could buy that. So what can I do? I'll download them, they are simple enough. Right, the interface for Qubit Torrent is quite nice and simple. Right, let's take a look what we can do with it. So, main options here, general, shows what I've downloaded, 99.9%, .9 and I've got the availability, 5 cedars and 0.759 with the peers. On this one, a different area I've set to download on this torrent, but the availability is fairly good. Right, I've got the trackers peers that you're connected to and it shows the client that they're using. This is pretty good for spotting who's not been particularly fair on sharing. So if someone I'm uploading a lot more than I'm downloading, I don't know, for instance that one, I could choose to limit the upload rate or limit the download or ban peer permanently. Nothing on the HTTP sources. But the content a nice useful feature here that I can limit which folders I'm downloading. So for that I've chosen not to, not to download the first two seasons because I'm downloading it in this torrent here at a much higher quality. Alright, more features of Qubit Torrent. So we've got a search here, so I could type in Ubuntu, in fact I've done one earlier, Ubuntu 11.10. Searching is not particularly quick on Qubit Torrent whether it does get there, and I could find what I'm after there. It's probably actually a lot safer using the search on here than it is to use one of the torrent websites. Well, I've been infected with a virus from one of those sites, so the preview link of it. So yeah, searching this way is probably a lot safer. And it's just a log file, had to restore a backup recently, hence all the errors. I could also review the blocked IPs. Right, let's take a look at the rest of the program. So in the options, let's see what we can do. So you can change the behavior. Now I've chosen not to show the splash screen on startup. I can start the program a little bit quicker. And I'm not showing it in the notification area at the top. At the point, I like accessing it that way. Got the got settings on downloads where you want to save it to, if you want to keep in, if you want to keep incomplete torrents in a different location. Connections, set which port you're going to use. Bear in mind you've got to open that port on your firewall. The point is to check the instructions of your firewall to work out how to do that. I also got connection limits, so the number of connections are going to accept in total. Connections per torrent and upload slots per torrent. You can use a proxy server. Not tried that myself yet. I'm pretty careful on what I download. Um, I'll leave you to think of the uses for using a proxy. We've got speed limitations, so I tend to limit it to about two thirds of my maximum speed. That way I'm not causing a denial of service to myself when I'm trying to use the internet. I can use the internet and torrent at the same time. You can set alternate global rate limits, and that's just clicking that little icon down there, and it'll throttle it right back to, well, so we've got there 10k for upload and 70k for download, and I can change all those. Under BitTorrent here, a few different settings on privacy and torrent queuing. Also share ratio limiting. You can enable a web interface to manage your torrents remotely. And there's some advanced settings. There's quite a few things you can do here. Overall, I quite like Qubit Torrent. It's certainly a very good torrent client for Ubuntu. It's certainly a lot better than the default 
transmission BitTorrent client that it comes pre-installed with. It's a shame that it's KDE based and then it does require a lot more dependencies in Ubuntu. But overall memory usage, if we have a look here, it is using 35 or 30 meg of RAM there. Compared to what else we've got running, Compiz, Firefox, Zeitgeist, requiring a lot more memory, so really it's not a lot. So, thanks for watching, see you later.